Right, morning guys. It is uh, about quarter to eight on November the 18th. I've just turned up at Bluebell Lakes. The uh, gates don't open till eight o'clock, so there's a couple of people in front of me in the queue, but I am here on a, a day session, so I've got the essentials and not a lot more. So we'll get onto the complex, get our late our uh, gear out, get set up, and then uh, show you where we are. Right, so uh, paid up at the shop. I can use either two or three rods on here for the same price, £15 for the day. And this is Bluebell Lake. So it's one of five on the complex here. This is the class as their sort of easiest water. Um, there are a couple of specimen, or well, real specimen lakes. This has got 40 pounders in it, but there is some, a uh, couple of the lakes, Kingfisher and Swan, that have fished to late 50s. Kingfisher used to be the uh, home of Benson many years ago. He unfortunately died, but uh, the whole venue is well known, I think pretty much countrywide, for the quality of the lakes and the fish. Nice mature lake, so it's a bit of a travesty I haven't been here previously. But we're here now, I'd say mid-November. Temperatures last week were sort of 15, 16 degrees, but in the last few days it's gone to, down to sort of eight nine degrees so there's a bit more of a chill in the air but uh it looks really good i've already seen a few fish showing and i've just picked my swim over by that willow there you can just see my gear on the side so i'm going to go and get set up and uh see how we get on for the day i'm not expecting much but First time here, we'll give it a go, see how we get on, and then uh, hopefully learn some lessons for our future trips. So anyway, we'll go and have a, a wander around to the, the swim, get everything set up. Right, so it's just gone nine o'clock. I am set up. As you can see, there's a number of other anglers now turning up. There's quite a few pegs on this uh, lake, so it's not gonna be an issue. There's not gonna be anybody coming next to me. And uh, because I've got this tree line all the way along the right-hand side, I haven't got anybody to the right for quite a distance either. The guys over on the far side I think are going to be fishing in amongst the margins or coming across the lake but they're not going to be anywhere near me so we're all good. My left hand rod I've got out basically about 20-25 yards out um, just out towards the swim on the far side there just to the left of the bivvy. That's got a krill bottom bait on with a little pink krill pop up on top and then the right hand rod I've boated out right under that overhanging branch there put some boilies around both of them and they've both got a PVA mesh stick on as well with a mixture of crumbed up boilies pellet and powders so um we're fishing I say only on a day session only going to have about seven hours or so but just thought we'd come and see what these uh, lakes were like. I have fished here before. It was a long time ago. Um, again, just on a day session. I 
think I had one carp out that day, but I'll say that must have been 10, 15 years ago at least. So uh, I want to give these lakes a real proper go. So there's five of them in total. All of them have got 40 pounders in. Some of them have got big 50s. But this one is, I say, one of the uh, easier waters. It's not easy, it's easier compared to the other ones. And we'll see how we get on. But I say, haven't done a day session for a long time, so it's a nice change just being able to turn up with sort of the bare minimum bits. We'll see how we get on over the next six or seven hours. But let's say they're, they're really nice lakes, mature lakes. So many different options. You've got snags, you've got overhanging trees, there's hard spots out in the middle, there's just a bit of everything. So I found a hard spot in the middle, I've put one rod on that and the other one's out under the, the tree where hopefully you've got some carp taking shelter, thinking it's a safe spot and hopefully it's not. Alright, I've just been having a uh, bit of a boat around the area just to see what's out in front of me. Um, I've put the sonar, the Deeper Pro on and uh, had a drive around with that on the back of the boat. Uh, as you can see from the footage, it's, there's goes down to about 12 and a half feet. Um, couldn't see any fish particularly over my spots, but what I did notice was uh, out towards the bivy on the far side there there was a, a number of fish showing right in the upper layers of the water so I've just put the third rod out um, with a zig on basically and I've, I've literally put that 18 inches or so below the water or below the uh, surface of the water so we'll uh, see how that goes I did see one fish sort of down on the bottom um, but yeah, mo most of the fish that I saw seem to be up in the uh, upper layers, so we'll uh, stick a zig on as well as our third option and uh, see if that produces anything. But as I said, it's all a bit of a learning curve at the moment. I don't know this lake at all, so I'm having to, I've sort of had to feel the lead around a little bit for decent drops, and uh, obviously with the the sonar I can sort of see the, what the depths are I can see if there's any fish there and uh, how the the bank sort of moves away from sort of seven or six seven feet down into sort of 12 12 and a half feet out in the middle so uh, we're learning as we go and uh, hopefully I've found some fish now so uh, I'll see how that goes over the next few hours now a little mate come to see me so uh, yeah we'll see how it goes right it's kind of up to half past 12 and as you can see the rain has definitely uh, set in now it wasn't actually supposed to rain today it was uh, it was sort of suggesting 15 to 20 percent chance of rain but Actually, we've uh, had a fair amount, nothing to report on the rods as yet. Um, I say that nobody, I haven't heard anybody else or seen anybody else have any action as yet either. So uh, we're just sitting and waiting. So we're about three hours in, probably got about another four hours of fishing to go, and then I'll be uh, packing up. But hopefully. The cold rain gets their heads down a little bit and pushes them down in the water, but uh, we'll see. I said 
not much more to uh, report on at present so we'll leave it there and see how we go over the next few hours Right, it's just coming up to half past two. Biggest development. It's still raining. My bivvy hat or my uh, brolly has more holes in it than a sieve. Or well, the weatherproofing is certainly gone, so it is just dripping constantly. And it's pretty miserable. Still no fish. The robin has visited me four times now. That's about as much excitement as I've got for you today. That's winter fishing. All right, it's just gone three o'clock. I said I was going to give it to about three o'clock in my head when this rain started and just kept going and going. You can see from the state of my uh, brolly, it's time I got a new one of those. It has been pretty much leaking throughout, so um, everything's a little bit damp. I'm a little bit damp now, although I've got this full suit or, or this uh, rainproof uh, coat on and number of layers the, the cold still is getting through a little bit and I haven't got the um, trousers on either so you can see my feet and my uh, bottom of my trousers are both a bit damp as well so it's been uh, a non-event on the fishing front Learned a few things, that's the main thing. I know a, a little bit more about the lake. I've had a little bit of a scoot around with the, the bait boat with the sonar on it. I've had a bit of a lead around as well. And that's the main thing about these sessions is just picking up bits of information here and there and hopefully that'll benefit in the uh, future. But I say, I'm going to pack bits away, go and grab the car and uh, head off home. So only a very short video today. I say it's only a short session. So thanks for watching. Hopefully we get some more fish on our next trip out. <laughs>